So apparently Prime Video is working on a limited series of this exact same story. But Netflix beat them to the punch with Scoop. This stars Gillian Anderson, Billy Piper, Keely Hawes, and Rufus Sewell. The content, it will turn your stomach, but can the movie deliver the hard-hitting news? Inspired by real events, this is the inside account of the tenacious journalism that landed the earth-shattering interview of the UK's Prince Andrew's infamous BBC Newsnight appearance. So if you've seen any of the Jeffrey Epstein documentaries, you've inevitably also seen and heard about Prince Andrew's friendship and alleged involvement with that disgusting piece of trash. Now here, the movie follows a BBC Newsnight anchor and an interview booker as they research and then secure an interview with the Duke of York. Billy Piper is Sam, the one who secures guests and interviews for the nightly news program. Now, she's a bit full of herself and initially comes across as abrasive. But within moments, we get to see how focused and adept she is at her career and how much of an indispensable part that she plays within the broadcast. Gillian Anderson portrays Emily Maitlis, the anchor and seasoned journalist for Newsnight. Now, she's also highly intelligent, and while she's made to appear as a sort of diva at the studio, always, you know, just walking around with her pet whippet following her, she is a charismatic and endearing character, just like Sam. Now, I was impressed by Keely Hawes' performance as Andrew's longtime personal secretary. Throughout the film, she has to convey a balance of guarded loyalty, wavering doubt, disbelief, and then devastating disgust. And Hawes is wonderful in the role. She nailed every emotion and expression. And while it's easy to dislike her for a large part of the movie just simply because of her association and longevity with Andrew, she's also easily sympathetic as someone who gets blindsided by the obliviousness of somebody in a conversation. And finally, we've got Rufus Sewell playing the pedo prince. He's wearing a fat suit. It's almost unrecognizable other than his voice. Now, I've never seen interviews or speeches with Andrew, so I don't know what he's really like in real life. But Sewell crafts a persona who is slyly pompous and has been so insulated from any consequences his entire life that he's dim-witted and unconcerned with his behaviors. I mean, it's gross to watch, but also weirdly satisfying as the infamous interview takes place and he just walks himself right off the plank. Now, there's a good amount of tension that's raised through the storytelling, especially as the narrative reaches the interview. There are many hurdles, both known and unforeseen, that can derail the outcome, as well as the huge clock that's counting down. No, I'm not talking about Big Ben. Newsnight has the scoop before anybody else does. Hence, you know, the title of the movie. But as things begin to fall into motion, they won't have an exclusive for long. And all this adds a palpable stress to the watching experience. I was sucked into both the performances and the storytelling. And for as disgusting as the content can be, the story handles it well not becoming salacious or tabloidy, but still delivering enough details to turn the stomach and then make the skin crawl. Now, I wish we would have spent just a bit more time with our characters outside of Andrew. They all have backstory and development that should have been explored more, especially with Piper Sam. Now, she's the only one we get to see the private life of, getting glimpses of her relationship with her son and mom. But some conversations, they take place between Sam and her family that hint at more that's in her past. Maybe it's trauma. Maybe just relationship or family baggage, but we only scratch the surface with her. And to get a better understanding would not only make her more sympathetic, but also create more complexity for the character. Now, I think where the story falters the most is with the pace and the quickness of which the story unfolds. Now, I love the tension that's built because of the speed, but a lot of the investigation portion is reduced to montage rather than detailed scenes. Now, I think to the movie Spotlight, that also follows a disturbing and horrendous story of underage victims. There, we're privy to much more of the inner discussions that help to inform the final news story. Now, I'm not going to compare the two films, but it was hard not to draw some comparisons when both share so much in common at their roots. And this is only an hour and 42 minutes long, so there was more time available to dive into further discussions and research. And just going off of how the rest of the story was... I think the writers could have maintained the urgency and the stress of the situation while also enriching the details in the plot. And I don't know if this is true, but I wonder if there was pressure to get this completed before Prime could put their series out. And maybe that's why some of the content just didn't get as much development as it could have. Either way, though, I mean, the story is still informative and it's engaging. So overall, Scoop uses the backdrop of the Prince Andrew scandal to highlight the people responsible for shedding so much light on his actions. 
The acting is spectacular, with emotional and patient performances that balance shock and horror with professionalism and pomp as required by the crown. While some character backgrounds were thin in development, and the storytelling as a whole rushed through details when it really didn't need to, the execution and final product are still riveting with apprehension, showcasing the demons and abuses that were allowed to be kept hidden by the monarchy for so long. There's no sex, but detailed descriptions of sexual assault, some nudity, a lot of profanity, and then while no violence is shown, we do get many details about the assaults that were perpetrated on so many young women. I give Scoop four out of five couches. So what are you currently watching? Anything that you can recommend to me? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.